In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about master pages in Affinity Publisher. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the files that I'll be using in the video description. Let's go ahead and start by reviewing this document. This is a really cute chapter book. To start off, we have a cover page. And then as you go through the document, at the beginning of each chapter, we have an illustration and the name of the chapter. And as you go through this document, you can see this continues with an illustration and a chapter name. And this document is actually pretty long. It's a full story. So as you scroll through here, you can see we have illustrations on each of the chapter pages until the very end. So master pages allow you to add elements to your design that can be repeated through your whole document. To show you how this works, first, I'm going to double click on our master pages to bring them up. So let's begin with a simple example. I'm going to select the rectangle tool and then I'll click and drag out a rectangle and I'll make this a nice bright color so that we can see it. So now as we go into our document, you can see that every left-hand page has this blue square added to it. If I change the color of the square to update it, you can see that this color automatically changes inside of our document. This is only being applied to the left pages, so if you'd like something applied to the other page, you can add that element in over here. Now every right-hand page also has an element added to it. So as you can see, whatever you add to your master page is automatically applied to every page in your document, making it very easy to edit your entire document at once. So that was just a quick demo to show you how master pages work. Now I want to show you how you can use master pages to add page numbers to your document. First, let's select the frame text tool. Then we can click and drag a little rectangle at the bottom of the page. With this cursor blinking, we can go to the top of our screen to text then down to Insert, Fields, Page Number. Now you can see we have a page number symbol. I'll highlight this so that I can alter how it looks. I can change the font. I can change the font size. I can make sure it's centered in its text frame. And then using the Move tool, I can make sure it's centered on the page. So with all of that set up, now we can go into our document to see that every left-hand page now has a page number added to it. I like how that placement looks, so I'm going to go back to our master page. I'll click to select this box, and with the Move tool selected, I'll duplicate this for the other page. So I'll hold Command or Control and Shift as I click and drag this across, making sure that this is centered on the other side. Now back in our document, you can see we have page numbers on both sides of the page. If you want to remove a page number from a page, all you need to do is double click on that page to select it. Then you can right click on that page and press Clear Masters. Now you can see this page no longer has a page number, but there's still page numbers applied to all of the other pages. Now that you know how to add page numbers, I want to show you how you can have multiple master page designs to use on different parts of your document. For example, I want to add some decorative elements to the first pages of the chapters. So let's make another set of master pages for our chapter intros. 
To do this, I'm going to click on this button right here to add another set of master pages. By default, this will be called Master B. So let's go ahead and press OK to create Master B. So I've prepared a couple of files that we can use for the chapter intros. So I'm going to go to the Place Image tool. I'll click on that. And then I'll highlight both of these PNG files. I'll open them up. So for the chapter nameplate, I'll click and drag to add this to this right page. For the chapter picture, I'll add it to the left page. I think this will look really nice to add a frame around our picture and the name of the chapter. But there's one element that's missing, and that's the page number. I don't think it would look very nice to have a page number on this side, but I do want a page number over here. To add this element, I'm going to steal it from Master A. So I'll double click on Master A. I'll select this right hand page number. I'll press Command or Control C to copy it. And then back in Master B, I'll press Command or Control V to paste it. Okay, I think this looks perfect. So now what we need to apply it to our chapter pages. I'll start with this first chapter page. Right now it has master A applied to it, but I'm going to right click and I'm going to press on apply master. I'm going to change this to master B and I'm going to make sure that replace existing is checked on. This will replace Master A with Master B. I'll press OK. And now you can see our updated design. This looks so cute. To apply this to the rest of the chapter pages, I'm going to hold down Command or Control as I click on all of the chapter pages. With all of those chapter pages selected, I'll just right click on one of them, and then I'll press Apply Master. Once again, I'll change this to Master B, I'll replace the existing, and I'll press OK. Now, as I scroll through the document, you can see that all of our chapter pages now have this cute updated design. So once you have your master pages in your document, you can actually alter the master pages inside of your document. To see this, let's go to page seven, which says a campfire to remember. This chapter name is pretty long compared to the other chapter names. And I actually want to adjust the size of the frame right here to give it a little bit more breathing room. To alter this element of the master page, I'm going to right click on the master page layer, and then I'm going to click on where it says Edit Detached. This will allow you to alter the master page without affecting the other pages. Now we can go ahead and edit the different elements of master B by opening the group, and selecting the element you want to change. I'm just going to increase the size of this border and I'll make sure that's nice and centered. I'll press finish. And now you can see we have a lot more breathing room. I just really wanted to emphasize the difference here. And you can see that the other chapter pages still have their small frames. So we were able to edit this page without affecting any of the other pages. But if you wanted to alter them all at the same time, you can do that too. I'm going to go to this page right here so that we can alter the page numbers. When you're first setting up your page numbers, it can be a little tricky to know how to place them. 
So if you wanted to, you could place your page numbers in master A and then alter them inside of the document by right clicking on master A and then clicking on edit linked. Now I'm going to select both of these page numbers by holding shift to select both of their layers. And we can actually alter the position of the page numbers. To make it easier to see the difference, I'm going to raise these page numbers up so they're closer to the text. Then I'll press finish. Now you can see that the page numbers on all of the pages have been updated to raise them up. So now you know how to use master pages in your documents. You even know how to use multiple master pages. If you want to learn more Affinity Publisher skills, you can check out my Affinity Publisher course in the video description. You'll learn everything you need to work in Affinity Publisher, starting with the very basics and working your way up to more advanced skills. I really think you'll like it, so I hope to see you in the course.